Hello YouTube, Robinhood Bricks here, and today we've got another Brick Call from Bricklink.com. Now this package is actually two packages, so I've posted Sellotape together because of the weird UK postage charging system where things are charged by their width, so it's actually cheaper to send something like that than like that, weirdly. But anyway, so let's go through both of these. And they're beautifully packed. So there's one. Very nice indeed. Right. So I've already seen the main reason why I bought this order. Um, and it was for this guy, the Riddler. Now I've been sort of collecting a few minifigures along the Batman baddies front so I can have some sort of scene with them all and the penguin and the joker and so on and when I was missing was the Riddler and when I looked through all the different Riddlers that were available I really liked this one the most because of uh, his lovely jacket with the question marks on front and back and this nice hair that's attached to the hat with another question mark on as you know, I'll change the head so it's not the skin tone and is actually a yellow tone. I'll try and find one that's most appropriate to keep that expression. Oh, he's got a grumpy... Oh, I quite like that. He's got a grumpy face on the other side. <laughs> oh, I like that a lot. So that's the face I'm going to try and replicate. I think that's brilliant. Um, so he's from the Riddler Racer set, 70903 from 2017. And he was becoming a bit scarce uh, essentially and and the price was sort of going up so I thought I better strike while the iron was hot uh, and um, make sure I had one and while I was there because uh, I looked at all the vendors who were selling uh, that figure not only was this very keenly priced but he also had a lot of interesting parts and a lot of very cheap parts a, a surprising amount of these parts including things that usually go for 10p uh, a throw, were actually a penny each. Uh, so I just basically bought all sorts of things that I know I'll go through and use uh, in the coming weeks and months. But here's two quite specialist pieces. Here's a spooky window, so it's like all buckled and strangely shaped. And we've got cobweb and a spider and a little break there. Somebody's thrown a stone at it. Now the is a sticker and it's not centrally placed but as you will all know by now I can fix that very easily using my patented hot tea technique which will move it seamlessly that's really good so I can put that on a shack or something like that I might have a shack already that would use that I don't know so I haven't got an exact plan for where that's going there's also this cool window which I think is printed actually let me just check yeah I think that oh I don't know no I think it is printed and um it's been in a few sets but it's sort of got a map and exclamation mark and profile folder and things like that so I can use that in pretty much any setup what else have we got a bag of stuff so I think these were just loads of cheap pieces. Oh, and they were all new as well, which is a really surprising thing. Um, so, you know, you'd expect really knackered old parts to perhaps be what, a penny each, but uh, these were all new. So I need a lot of these for my uh, Technic setups for my fairground when I get to it. Random ray gun. A couple of hinge plates of different shapes. I needed these two by two modified uh, tiles, I suppose it would be, with the connector on, because I used some in a build already. So these are to replace the ones that I stole from a jet. So I better put those back before I forget that I stole them. A couple of these panel pieces. I think these were to go on rides to enable people to sit down, because as you probably know, they sort of fit well at clutching somebody by the legs by the feet, a couple of wine glasses or cocktail glasses, and a one by one, and clear, 
some inverted slopes in black and lots of stalk pieces. Oh, and a red apple. I mean, I went through all of his store because of the cheapness of the pieces and pretty much picked up anything useful that was a penny, which was a surprising amount. These weren't a penny, I don't think. So great, I've got the two halves of a jellyfish head. Now you'll probably know these are from the um, Ninjago movie, one of the Shark Army minifigures, but it's obviously the top of a jellyfish, and I'm going to use it as a jellyfish for under the water scene and have some sort of tentacles, you know, sort of coming down. I'm not going to use a stalk piece, but you know, sort of like that, but a lot longer, and it can be suspended in midair or mid water as it will be there, sort of swimming through. So that would be really interesting. It's a really nice piece that. Right, so just as a little bonus build, I'm going to use these two jellyfish pieces. I'm going to combine them with, first of all, to make the head of the jellyfish, a trans red minifigure head and a two by two decorated dish piece, which is actually a web, which in a few sets, including Spider-Man sets and Lord of the Rings sets. I just thought it looks quite organic. So I'm going to use that as the inside of the jellyfish. So we squeeze those two bits together and you can kind of see its guts inside, basically. And we've got that on the bottom. Then I've got a modified brick with studs on all four sides to go underneath that. And then I've got some of these old seaweed pieces in luminous white in this case. It might be better if I get a modified brick that's not black. It might be better if that's white or tan or something like that. But there you go. A nice looking jellyfish. And I can even put on an aerial that's clear. Insert that in the bottom so I can attach it to a rock or anything really and have that bobbing away underwater. It's probably going to be a long time until I do my underwater scene, but um, nonetheless, I think that's definitely an interesting part of it. And this is a dish with lots of water splashes on. I can use that obviously for a fountain. Already got one of those, but it's always good to have another one. I think these were really cheap. Technic plates, always useful. And round four by four plates, always useful for tables or just for, again, Technic builds. And there's a black one there. You probably had one of three different colors and I've bought them all. Big bag of lots of little bits. So we've got jumper plates, just a two by two gray, lots of jumpers, lots of tiles. And it's, it's really weird because, I mean, there was all sorts... I think, I think pretty much everything in this bag was a penny, literally a penny for each bit. So although they're not worth a great deal individually, um, collectively, when you add up the savings on that, if you were to use them all, it's just amazing. So I won't go through all of those because they're pretty standard pieces, apart from these pink flowers. Still on the spruce, you can use them to make bushes really easily when they're still all joined together. So look forward to doing that. Now some more minifigures. Ah, now I really like this one. It's from a junior set and it's a, a supermarket assistant. So somebody works in the supermarket. It's just a lady, but it's the torso that's the really important bit. She's only in one set. It's got that logo of a uh, shopping basket, name badge, and the same printing on the back. So I really like that. And I was thinking of potentially having a mini supermarket or a sort of convenience store as one of my builds. I'm not certain if I will yet or not, but if I do, this will be ideal. And if I don't, then she could just be waiting at a bus stop or something like that. So there's absolutely nothing lost there at all. Uh, and I've not seen her come up before. Here is another one. This is from one of the old Pharaoh's Quest sets. He's got a nice bag. Oh, you have to put the arm up to put the bag on, don't you? Oh, there we go. And this guy, oh, is called 
Archibald Hale, or Professor Archibald Hale, to be precise. And he's rather fantastic. He's got glasses and this uh, sort of fantastic moustache, sideburns and little goatee beard. He was only in one set. That was uh, 7327, Scorpion Pyramid from 2011. And I've got quite a lot of the uh, Ferris Quest explorers and some of the explorers of the sets that predated them as well. So I don't know if I'm going to add this guy to my adventurer's balloon or if I'll have him just somewhere else. But, I mean, he's just fantastic, if you ask me. He's got a pencil in his pocket, compass attached to his shirt, nice belt, and this lovely satchel as well. So, yep, massive fan of him. I don't know why I bought this. Well, I do. It's probably about a pound or less, but it's the Series 13 Egyptian Warrior. Just a minifigure without the accessories. What am I going to do with that? I have literally no idea. Suggestions welcome. I don't have it, so I thought, well, for that price, it's, it's rude not to. But, uh, no, fancy dress party maybe? I don't know. <laughs> it's about the only thing I can think of. Right, so that's the first of those two lovely, neatly packed boxes. Box two. Bag one, lots of minifigure parts. It's got some legs, but these are series minifigure legs. So we've got the legs from the Rocker Girl, series seven. Legs from the Punk Rocker, Man, series four. I got a couple of superhero tops because I thought, although I'm not gonna have too many superheroes in my city, well, I'll probably have some, who knows? It's probably a slippy slope, that one. I wasn't gonna have any, but, um, but I thought children like to dress up when they go out sometimes, don't they? So I thought it'd be quite humorous to have a child with a Spider-Man top and another child with a Batman top, just while they were out with their parents, perhaps at the fairground or something like that. And the fact that they're sort of rippling with muscles is not really a problem because, um, you know, most of those costumes sort of have built-in muscles as part of them. So I thought that might be quite good fun. A brown suitcase, I think that is used, that looks used anyway. Um, two limb pieces, always need those for trees, obviously. I've got a Captain Jack Sparrow hair piece. I just thought I could uh, probably use that for somebody um, on the beach or goodness knows where, but, you know, it's quite interesting. Uh, this is a Han Solo torso. And... Is that skin colour at the neck or is that a white t-shirt? I think it's white actually, so that's good or as near as or pass for white. So when I get rid of these pink hands, it'll just be a nice shirt with waistcoat. Or vest as the Americans call it, don't they? There we go. And then some heads. Got loads of heads, so female head, female head, female, 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 female head. You need lots of lady heads because Lego seems to do more men than women. And then a grumpy old guy. It's probably a Sensei Wu or something like that. I don't know, but he'll be good. And then a grey one, which I don't know much about Ninjago, but apparently that's the shade. So I can use that for somebody who's very ill, I think. I think it's quite fun to have ill people literally off colour. And here we've got Angry Man. I love Angry Man. That's funny. A Grumpy Man. A, oh, I don't like that side. There we go. Let's have that. Old guy with glasses. A very cheesy smile or angry face. Sweating head. Wraparound sunglasses lady. Lady. And whatever that expression is. <laughs> oh, a raised eyebrow. I quite like that one as well. Yeah, that's a good head. I like both sides of that one. Do we have any alternates? No, the other lot didn't have any alternates at all. Good. So loads of good expressions, which are always useful for making very good and funny scenes. Another bag of little bits. See, some of these are not even got a use, but I know I'm going to use them, things like this, and a penny each. Hard to refuse. 
tile pieces, all sorts of jumper plates. So, yep, even these two by four tiles were one penny. I just don't get that. I mean, usually it knew that it cost about 17p, um, and often they're at least 10. Very strange. Bag, very strange but welcome, of uh, bricks. Again, not use, uh, not specific uses rather for these, but I know that I will use them. One by twos. Lots of modified bricks with studs on the side that are really useful for mounting adverts and signs and so on. If you get them in all the different colours that you're probably building your buildings with, then you've got all the bases covered. And then last but not least, is a massive bag of legs. Now this is useful, again, because they were cheap, but also because in a lot of these brick cores, I end up getting lots of heads, because they're really useful, interesting hair pieces, lots of torsos, but never any legs, so I'm actually short of legs. So it's, a lot of these are normal, four blue, six light gray, very good, three dark blue, two dark gray, four black, one red, one, whoop, one with bare legs for the beach, with bright green trunks, two white, and somebody doing some exercise. That's off the, um, I think it's the Batman, is it? Uh, aerobics Batman or something like that. Anyway, that can be a lady uh, doing some aerobics or something like that in a gym. Good, right. So that's the second box done as well. So all done. But some really cheap pieces there and some really interesting ones like this jellyfish piece and this window. But the main feature has got to be these fantastic minifigures um, of which these three I'm really looking forward to using. Fantastic. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, I think we'll be doing that fifth facade next to the fourth facade, finishing off that corner of the Lego room. See you then!